So here we are in the Shapeways New York production facility, which is, I believe, the biggest consumer-focused 3D printing factory in the world. But what is 3D printing, if you could just lay it out? 3D printing is, is a, a new term for rapid prototyping, which was historically for engineers to quickly um, fabricate an object so they can test it before they go to, to mass production. Now, as the materials and processes have improved and become better quality, we start to see final products being made with 3D printing instead of just prototypes. So now we, it's a way of making anything you want. Or sometimes it's called additive manufacturing. What is, yeah. is it, so is the idea that basically instead of carving things out or putting them together, you're, you're printing objects out of, yeah. out of acrylic and nylon? Correct, you make things layer by layer. Right. So you, you build things up from, from dust usually. So a layer of powders laid down, bound together, next layer is put on top again and again and again until you make the object fully formed out the machine with no assembly. I've seen a, a lot of consumer 3D printers that use a kind of plastic extrusion, like really hot plastic laid down in fine fibers, but this seems like a different technology that you guys use and one that's capable of much higher definition and more complex yeah. objects. The difference is with, we use a lot of laser sintering and UV cured acrylic resin. Sintering. Sintering, right. yeah. which is a, a fancy word for melting, really. Okay. Right. So basically the nylon powder is, is heated up to just below melting point. A laser then comes along, solidifies the powder, sinters it or melts it into a solid object. And we do it layer by layer by layer. Um, with the desktop machines, they're using a process called FDM, which is fused deposition modeling, whereby a hot plastic nozzle squirts out plastic. So the difference is that with the laser sintering, you can have more complex parts. You can have interlocking parts straight out the machine, and you can have like overhangs and drafts, which would be otherwise impossible with FDM process. People today are getting excited about the idea of having their own 3D printer, like a MakerBot replicator or a Stratasys 3D printer. I wonder if you think that also represents a threat to your business, because why would anybody use a, a, a service like Shapeways if they have an awesome 3D printer in their own home? No, I think people just become better designers if they have access to a 3D printer in their home, because you can iterate really fast. And once you've got a design that you are happy with and confident with and, and will work properly, then you print it with Shapeways in a higher quality material or at greater volume and right. make it worthwhile. I have a desktop 3D printer at home that I use. I make things all the time. But when I want the final product, I always 3D print it with Shapeways because I know it's going to mm. work better. Right. We have lots of different machines that use different processes. So you can go from nylon to acrylic to stainless steel to ceramics to full color printing, sterling silver, and anything really. If you design a widget for your bike which holds your lamp and your iPhone at the same time, it's cool to print it for yourself in your desktop 3D printer. But if you want to sell it, you can sell it on Shapeways and we'll make it to the on demand. So whether it's one, five, ten, a hundred. Right, 10, so it's kind of, you're kind of yeah. like a, an Etsy like market yeah. or eBay like marketplace yeah. as well. Or Amazon, you know. Amazon, you can, right. It's 3D printed on demand. So there's no right. inventory, it. no stock, no waste. You guys chose to build a factory in Queens, New York, your, your biggest factory, right? So, uh, why not China or India? This is where the people are. We don't need to, there's no benefit in, in being further away from where the customers and where the brains are who are using it because there's, it's machines running. A machine running in China costs the same, more or less, as a machine running in, in New York. The real estate may be a little bit more expensive here. The staffing costs are slightly higher, but really we want, we want quality. If it was in China, we have to then we have to have people in China who are doing all the, all the quality control, making sure everything's perfect. We have communication issues. We then have to send products to a, to America and then distribute from America around the world. And we just want to save time, and we can we can do it here. We can manufacture in the U.S. with a profit. So we're not printing ten thousand of something and then hoping it sells. We only print what's selling. So right. we don't have to inventory. We don't have a, a warehouse full of things that nobody wants. We don't have to advertise something that nobody wants. We, have, we don't have to we don't have to market to to produce demand. Our supply exactly means demand. Right. There's no waste. Yeah.